Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know this music video was released yesterday So I thought since I'm already filming for Q&A today I would be taking this opportunity to react to this song as well. I saw that she has a certified O-Kill. Am I surprised? Not really. Like it is kind of to be expected with such artists. I feel like Ayu is in her own league, you know, like <laughs> she's kind of like untouchable. I obviously watched the teaser for this and apart from the look, I'm more curious to see what the message is gonna be like. So like Ayu is a celebrity, right? But sh I feel like there's gonna be some shade there or like she's gonna put some people on blast, weirdly enough. I don't know. Like sometimes Ayu is kind of like savage and I'm like, I respect you girl. I respect you. <laughs> All right, so celebrity, I have the English captions on, let's go. Why do I feel like I always see Hangmanon? Is that how you pronounce the name? Isn't it the room where Hwasa was in Dinga? If that does not give you Hotel de Luna, I don't know what does. Okay. Is it no more that I want to give her a hug? Her song as well, right? Yeah. So is she right handed originally? Okay, the beat is amazing and everything, but the lyrics just are so touching, you know? Sometimes when you listen to music and you have the lyrics and everything and you just you just want to meet that person in real life not because you're a fan or whatever but just because you want to thank them for their work and the message that they're putting out because ah I asked her earlier if she's right-handed uh, originally because she said like you are a star that is drawn by my left hand so personally I know that if I draw a star, I'm right-handed, right? So if you draw a star with your right hand, it's gonna still look better than if you were to draw it with your left hand and vice versa, right? So does that mean that even if you're a star that is drawn by your less dominant hand, 
even if it's crooked, even if it's not perfect, you're still a star. Is that what, is that what it means? That no matter what you look like, no matter if you look different from the others and everything, you are still a star, you're still shining, you're still... Oh my lord, so the meaning of this is just so beautiful. It's the thing that is that I appreciate the most about this is it's not too direct, if that makes sense. Like the message, you're still able to grab it, you're still able to understand it. But it, she did not just straight up said, love yourself, if that makes sense. It, that's not this, by the way. <laughs> it's just, I, I enjoy the poesy. Poesy? Poesy? Poesy. I love how poetic it is. How she went with metaphors, with like illustrations. I like how she described you. I mean, everyone as being a star in that, ah, oh, I just feel so precious right now. And I don't feel that often, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. So this is one of those lyrics, regardless of the song, because the beat is more upbeat and everything, but like the, the lyrics, the message is just so, I received it, you know, and I feel very, it makes me feel very precious right now. I, that's why I say I like, I want, to be able to say to like tell her thank you i guess that could sound weird <laughs> to some degree but i just i'm really grateful for her right now for having put out such music with such lyrics I honestly thought at the very beginning that she would have gone with like a diss like i said at the beginning you know something that has a darker side you know like celebrity and everything that are glamorous but behind the scenes, we don't really know what's going on in that real life, etc. I really thought that she would have gone down this path, but I'm not sure, like, mentally I would have been ready for that. <laughs> so when she was dancing stuff, like, she's the cutest little thing ever. Ah! Ever since she played Chang Manol in uh, Hotel del Luna, every time she is kind of, like, dressed up or anything, I just can't help but see her in the drama again. Like, it's kind of like that character, it will always be part of her regardless. And you're not gonna lie, this type of music is definitely a lot more down my alley than um, a lot of her other, other songs, not gonna lie. Like, I tend to enjoy this type of music more, for sure. Then I've got another song that I can add to my playlist of like, you know, when you need a little bit of like a mood booster or something, a confidence boost. You know, you're still a star even if you're crooked and not looking like the others and everything. That's good. That's very good. Anyway, I'm gonna stop here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.